I'm Cindy from Read with Cindy, and my videos are so unfunny that YouTube had to fly in the funniest writer of all time to help me out, and that is David Sedaris. I bet your videos are charming, though. I don't even know why I'm here. What I'm gonna do is just shoot a whole bunch of questions okay. at you, and you have to answer them as quickly as possible. Sure. What is the first thing you do when you wake up? Get dressed. What do you want written on your tombstone? He was rich. And I wanted a diamonds, a tombstone <laughs> Diamond made of encrusted. diamonds. What is your favorite word? Oh, I can't say it on this show. You can, you can say it to my ear. <laughs> really? Yeah. I will try to incorporate that word in my vernacular as well. What is your least favorite word? Awesome. What is it like to walk into a bookstore and see your books next to the cartoon section? I never look for my books in a bookstore. Oh, I learned wow. that Very ages humble. ago. I wrote a book called Dress Your Family in Corduroy and Denim, and my sister found it in the sewing department once. In Calypso, you wrote about how you once gave your tumor to a snapping turtle to eat. When will you return the favor by eating a turtle's tumor? <laughs> <laughs> when a tumor comes up and feeds it to me. So you've written nine New York Times bestsellers mm -hmm. throughout 12, your career. Sold 12 million books. Sold 12 million books. Got nominated for a Grammy. F five Grammys? Five Grammys. And now you have a garbage truck named after you. When do you think things went downhill? <laughs> I think I peaked about eight years ago. It was at this moment that I realized I was peaking right now. David was able to balance this act between having humorous anecdotes about mundane things and then also tapping into more tragic themes uh, of life. And I feel like that's very human. And I think that is what makes him so endearing and enjoyable to read. David, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Check out our full length episode on BookTube on youtube.com slash originals. So that was David Sedaris and I talking for our one-on-one -on -one interview. There is another interview that I'll link below where we talked with a group of other YouTubers. We actually talked for an hour, but a lot got cut down for the sake of timing. But that's okay. I'm comfortable being the only one who knows what's David's favorite trashy reality TV. Even though a lot got cut out, I do plan on editing a vlog from when I flew over to Atlanta and got to just experience what it was like filming a YouTube original series and meeting David Sedaris. So so if you would like more context for how this happened and a peek at the behind the scenes stuff, I will be working on that. But I wanted to pop in and say thank you so much to David and for the team over at YouTube that invited me to this opportunity. It was such a fun experience that cannot be contained within a few minutes of video. And I would have never imagined from starting this channel about a year or two ago that I would end up on like a YouTube original series. I'm very grateful for this opportunity and for how much my channel has grown in this short period of time. It was such a combination of weird circumstances and luck. As most of you know, this YouTube stuff is a hobby for me, so I'm not trying to be like a legit YouTuber or anything like that. And that's why I thought it was cool that despite me clearly being just like an amateur who is just doing this for fun, they still invited me anyway. So for everyone who has subscribed to this channel and has watched my videos and commented and been so active with me on this platform, thank you so much for sticking around. I owe a lot to just how everyone has been so supportive and responsive and I wanted to pop in and uncomfortably say thank you. This is so weird to be genuine for once. I'm gonna bounce out because I do not want to be genuine for like more than a minute. Uh, I just want to say thanks to everyone on the team and to you guys as well. I hope everyone is staying safe inside during this weird time and I hope that I can continue providing escapism through my dumb little videos. This will be the last time I will be professional, okay? We're gonna go back to crappy made at home videos from now on. See you later. Don't forget to unsubscribe from my channel and subscribe to YouTube Originals instead. Take care and goodbye.